Hello everyone, I am Gagan Ladda and today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about a small yet powerful shortcut trick with the help of which you can solve the questions of fluid mechanics, particularly from the topic of laminar flow very easily within few seconds. take one question which was asked in gate 2009 and with this question I will first tell you the conventional method and then we will discuss about the shortcut trick. So the question says the velocity profile of a fully developed laminar flow in a straight circular pipe as shown in figure is given by the expression ur is equal to minus r square by 4 mu dp by dx into 1 minus small r square by capital R square where dp by dx is a constant the average velocity of fluid in the pipe is okay so this is the figure given the water is flowing through the pipe and the velocity profile as we know will be uh, parabolic when the velocities at the corner will be zero and maximum velocity will be at center okay we have to determine the mean velocity for this particular flow now how can we determine this mean velocity so first we will discuss the conventional method so what we will do is we will take one cross take the cross section of this particular pipe so we are taking the circular cross section of this pipe so as you can see ur is dependent on radius that means the velocity is not constant throughout the section it is changing with respect to radius okay so what we can do now if if we want to determine the mean velocity so what will be the mean velocity mean velocity will be equal to q by a as total discharge q is equal to a into v so v mean will be equal to q by a where a is the area of cross section so in order to determine this v mean first we will have to determine q that means the discharge through this pipe now how to de determine the discharge through this pipe so as i told you the velocity is not constant throughout the section it is changing throughout the section so what we can do is we can take a small strip we are taking a small strip of thickness dr at a radius r from the center of this pipe a small strip is taken now what we are going to do is we will determine the discharge from this to, uh, from this small strip and then we can integrate it from 0 to capital r throughout this pipe so as to get the complete discharge this will be our process firstly determine the discharge in the small strip and then we will integrate it throughout the pipe and we will get total discharge okay so uh, the small the, the small discharge dq what will be this dq now so this dq is nothing but the velocity which is ur into the area of this strip velocity into area and what is the area of the strip so the circumference of this strip is 2 pi r into thickness which is dr okay so area is nothing but 2 pi r dr so this dq will be equal to ur into 2 pi r dr okay now the value of uh, ur is given in the question you can just put the value dq is equal to minus r square by 4 mu into dp by dx into 1 minus r square by capital r square into 2 pi r dr this is the small discharge now in order to get the complete discharge we will have to integrate it from 0 to capital r that means throughout the radius of this pipe okay so just integrating this from 0 to capital r will get total discharge q which will be equal to minus r square by 4 mu which is a constant into 2 pi which is again a constant into dp by dx which is again a constant as given in the question into integration of uh, 1 minus r square by capital r square into r dr and if i multiply this r inside i will get what it will be small r minus r cube by r square into dr getting this okay now just integrating this so we'll get what q is equal to minus r square by 2 mu into pi into dp by dx into now integration of r will be r square by 2 integration of r cube will be r raised to power 4 by 4 so this will be r square by 2 minus r raised to power 4 by 4 into r square okay and the limit is from 0 to r now if i put the limit i will get what q is equal to minus pi r square by 2 mu into dp by dx into r square by 2 minus r raised to power 4 by 4 r square and 1 r square will be cancelled and we will get what r, r square by 2 minus r square by 4 and this term r square by 4, 2 minus r square by 4 will give me r square by 4 ok so this q will be equal to minus pi r square by 2 mu into dp by dx into r square by 4 
or this q can be written as minus pi r square by 8 mu into dp by dx. This is the total discharge through this pipe. Getting this? Now, in order to determine mean velocity, as I told you, what we can do is we can divide this total discharge by area q by a. So, just divide it by pi r square and we will get v mean which is equal to minus r square by 8 mu into dp by dx. Okay? So, this will be our answer minus r square by 8 mu into dp by dx which is option number a. Okay, but as you can see that this process is a very lengthy process, this involves integration, this involves the substitution of uh, the limits. So, this will take much of your time. So, there is an easy method, there is a shortcut method to solve the same question within few seconds. Okay, so, how we can solve this question is, uh, you can just remember one thing that when the water is flowing through the pipes in laminar flow, when the water is flowing through the pipes, the ratio of maximum velocity to mean velocity is nothing but 2. Just remember this thing. When the water is flowing through the pipe, V max by V, by v mean is nothing but equal to 2. Okay? And if I if I know that V max by V mean is equal to 2, obviously this V mean will be equal to V max by 2. Maximum velocity divided by 2. Now, how can we determine this maximum velocity? So, obviously, as I told you, maximum velocity is always at center in the pipe. When the water is flowing through the pipe, maximum velocity is at center. That means, at r is equal to 0, we have the value of this u r as minus r square by 4 mu into dp by dx into 1 minus r square by capital R square. So, in this, if I put r as 0, I will get what? So, this v max will be equal to minus r square by 4 mu into dp by dx. Getting this, that means at a small r is equal to 0, at center velocity is maximum. This is the value of maximum velocity. Now, mean velocity is maximum velocity divided by 2. So, this will be equal to minus r square by 8 mu into dp by dx. This will be our answer. So, you can see how quickly and how easily we can solve. Hardly it will take 10 to 15 seconds of your time and you can solve it very easily and very perfectly. Getting this, we will solve one more question. So, this question was asked in gate 2006 mechanical. The question says velocity profile in a fully developed laminar flow in a pipe of diameter d is given by u is equal to u naught into 1 minus 4 r square by d square where r is the radial distance from the center. If the viscosity of fluid is mu, the pressure drop across the length of the pipe is pressure drop across the length. We know from Hagen Poisson formula pressure drop the formula for pressure drop is what p1 minus p2 is equal to 32 mu v l by d square. Okay, now, main challenge in this question is to determine V, which is nothing but V mean, mean velocity. But we have studied about the shortcut trick of this V mean. We can easily determine this V mean. So, how can we determine? We know what V max by V mean for a flow through pipe is equal to 2. So, V mean is equal to V max by 2. Okay, now, in order to determine this V max, just put the value of a small r as 0 in the expression of u. Okay, so, this u will be equal to u naught into 1 minus 0 or this u or v max will be equal to u naught. Okay? So, this v max maximum velocity will be equal to u naught. What will be mean velocity? V max by 2. So, this mean velocity will be equal to u naught by 2. Therefore, this p 1 minus p 2 pressure difference will be equal to 32 mu in place of v you can we, you can write it as u naught by 2 into l by d square or this p 1 minus p 2 is equal to 16 mu u naught l by d square that is it within few lines you can solve this question very easily very quickly ok thank you so much. So, thank you for watching friends if you like this video just hit like button subscribe our channel along with bell icon to get regular notifications of my videos. To have complete video lectures of gate mechanical just download our free application gate lectures for mechanical from play store. Thank you so much all the best.